Hello children. In this video, we are going to see transversal. What is transversal? Let me see. A line that intersects two or more lines at distinct points. That one line is called transversal. See this line. This is line L and this is line M and this is line N. So now this line N is intersected at two lines. This line L and line M. So it will intersect at two points. So this is one point, one intersecting point, and this is one intersecting point. So that only they have given the line that intersects two or more lines at distinct points. Distinct points means different point. That is only is called as the transversal. So not only two lines. Maybe it will be a three line. So in the three line, one line is crossed like it. So now here three different points are there, intersecting point. That is only is called transversal. We can write N is transversal to the line lines L and M. See this example. See this is wooden door. So now here more straight lines are there. In that this one line is crossing. So here it is intersected. So this is one point of intersection. This is one point of intersection. It have a distinct points. So this is the example for transversal. Next is C. This is also a one example for transversal. See here in the road railway track is crossing. So here two lines are there. So this is one line and this is one line. So now here this track is crossing. So now this is one point of intersection and here one point of intersection and this point and this point. So this is one line is called as a transversal. See the antenna. Antenna also. So some more lines. In this line it is crashed. So this is one point of intersection. This is one point of intersection. So transversal means the lines that intersect two or more lines at distinct points. Next we will see angles made by a transversal. See this figure. This is a transversal because this line is intersected at these two lines at distinct point. So this is a transversal. This transversal has eight angles. That the eight angles also have some special name. First one, interior angle. Interior means inside. So this angle three, angle four, angle five, and angle six. These are interior angles. Interior means inside. Next, exterior angle. Exterior means outside angle. So outside the transversal one, two, and eight, and seven. So these are exterior angles. So this is very easy. Interior means inside. Exterior means outside. Next, pair of corresponding angle. Corresponding angle means see in this figure. This line is intersected, this line and this line. So, here first in this point only intersecting point. So, now you see here angle 1 and 2. So, this angle 1 is correspond to angle 5. Because corresponding angle means it have to come same side, same position. So here intersecting above this angle is there. So here also intersecting above and the same side. That is only is called 
corresponding angle. So angle 1 and angle 5 are corresponding. So same way angle 2 and angle 6 are corresponding angle. And here below angle 3 and here also below angle 7. So this is corresponding angle. And here angle 4 and angle 8. These are corresponding angles. Next, pair of alternative interior angles. So, we know interior angles means that is inside. So, interior angle here 3, 4, 5, 1, 6. That is the interior angle. But here, here they have mentioned alternative. So, alternative means. So, for the 3, that alternative is 5. So, that opposite. For the 4, that opposite is 6. So, this is only alternative interior angles. Angle 3 and 5 and angle 4 and angle 6. Next, pair of alternative exterior angles. So, exterior angles means we know that it is outside. So, 1, 2, 7, 8. That is only exterior angles. So, in the question, they have given alternative. Alternative means for 1, that opposite is 7. And for 2, that opposite is 8. So, this is only alternative. We can write angle 1 and angle 7. Then angle 2 and angle 8. Next, pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal. See, they have given pair of interior angles. So, interior means it will come 3, 4 and 5, 6. This 4 possibility only. In, and also they have given interior angles on the same side of the transversal. So, same side for the angle 4. It will come angle 5. That is the same side interior angle. For angle 3 and angle 6, interior angle on the same side of the transversal. So, we can write angle 4 and angle 5 and angle 3 and angle 6. So, these are the some special angles made by transversal. So, first one is interior, then exterior, then alternative interior, alternative exterior. And corresponding angles at last pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal. So, six types of day. Next, we will see transversal of parallel lines. See, we know what is transversal. A line that intersects two or more lines at a distinct point. That is only it's called transversal. Here, Transversal of parallel line. See, in this two, this L and this M, these two lines are parallel lines. For the parallel line, here, N is the transversal. So, here also, eight angles are there. So, we know that, uh, what are the special angles? If it is the parallel line, some special will be there. See, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, each pair of corresponding angles are equal. So, we know what is corresponding angle. Angle 1 and angle 5 is a corresponding angle. Corresponding angle means same side, same position. So, angle 1 and angle 5 is equal. Same way. Angle 2 and angle 6 is equal. So, like that, angle 3 and angle 7 is equal, angle 4 and angle 8 is equal. It is only for parallel line. Not for all the ones. See, if transversal made like this, these special properties should not satisfy. Only for parallel lines. Next, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, each pair of 
alternative interior angles are equal. Alternative interior. So interior means we know that is angle 3, 4, 5 and 6 interior. Alternative. Alternative means opposite. For angle 3, opposite is angle 5. So this 3 and 5 is equal. 3 is 40 degree, 5 also 40 degree. Angle 4 and angle 6 is equal. That only here is the angle 3 equal to angle 5. Then angle 4 equal to angle 6. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. Pair of interior angles on the same side. So interior angles means we know that is 3, 4 and 5, 6. On the same side of the transversal or supplementary. So same side means 3 and 6. So this is the same side. That or supplementary. Supplementary means that is if you are adding means it will come 180 degrees. So, angle 3 and angle 6 we are adding means it will come 180 degree. Same way, angle 4 and angle 5 we are adding means it will come 180 degree. So, angle 3 plus angle 6 equal to 180, angle 4 plus angle 5 equal to 180. These three special properties are there for only for parallel lines. See this problem. In the adjoining figure, P parallel Q. Find the unknown angle. See this figure. P and Q are parallel. Another one line is graphic. So easily we can identify this is a transversal. So now we have to find the unknown angles. So 8 angles are there we know. So in that only one angle they have given that is 125 degree. Remaining angles we have to find that A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Those angles we have to find it. For that we know the properties. Some special properties we know. First one. Corresponding angles are equal. So this is 125 degree. For that what is the corresponding angle? Angle B. So, this 125 and the angle D is the corresponding angle. So, we know corresponding angles are equal. So, angle D also a yeah, 125 degree. Next, remaining angles we have to find. Them. So, we know another property. Interior alternative angles are equal. Interior alternative. So, interior means a, F, G, B. These four angles are interior. So, in the interior alternative. So, we found the value of D. That means angle D we found. So, interior alternative. So, for the D alternative is F. So, that is equal. So, angle D equal to angle F equal to 125 degree. So, angle F also we found. Next. Interior angles on same side of the transversal or sublimentary. This is another property. So, we know the interior angles. So, interior angles on the same side means G and D, F and D, E. So, that are sublimentary. So, here I have taken angle D plus angle Z. We are adding, it will come 180 degree. So, we found already angle D value that is 125 degree. So, 125 degree plus angle G equal to 180. So, we can find the value of angle G. So, that is 55 degree. So, now we found Angle G also. So now three angles we found. We have already found G, D and F. Remaining angles we have to find. So here we have used the property. The same property now we are going to use. Interior alternative angles are equal. 
so ye we do so g we do so that is the interior alternative angle so that is equal so angle g equal to angle a so that is 45 degree next still c b and e we have to find now corresponding angles are equal that property we need so corresponding angle for a what is the corresponding angle that is e so a just now we found that is 55 degree so e also 55 degree next for f what is the corresponding angle b is the corresponding angle so f we found that is 125 degree so b also 125 degree so both is a equal next g also we have already found that is 55 degree for that corresponding angle is c so that also yeah 55 degree both also equal so now we have found all the angles using that properties so only these properties we know we can find the angles next this is your activity collect the pictures about special angles what are the special angles complementary angle supplementary angle adjacent angle vertically opposite angle and transverse angle so about this five angles you have to collect the pictures real life application pictures you have to collect and paste it so in this video we have seen only transverse angle so in this lesson we have seen some special angles thank you children